you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Good morning, all. Welcome to our third national conversation on rights and justice. In 2014, the, our Lyndon Baines Johnson Presidential Library convened a civil rights summit to mark the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The summit brought four U.S. presidents, civil rights leaders, scholars, and activists together to discuss the future of civil rights advocacy in America. One of the biggest things to come out of the conference for me was the realization that there is so much more to say about rights and justice 52 years after the signing of the Civil Rights Act. And the idea for the National Conversations was born out of this need to continue these crucial discussions. As a federal agency, the National Archives is responsible for the Charters of Freedom, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights, and for the, a collection and protection of more than 13 billion other records that tell the American story, and its continued challenges and successes towards creating a more perfect union. We've chosen the 225th anniversary of the ratification of the Bill of Rights to open a new exhibit, Amending America, in our Lawrence F. O'Brien Gallery in the National Archives Museum in Washington, D.C. As the permanent home of the Bill of Rights, no institution is better poised than the National Archives to not only celebrate the anniversary of this extraordinary document, but also explore its meaning for civil rights today. We want to use this moment to engage Americans in conversations about complicated issues such as class, gender, politics, race, religion, and sexual orientation through the national conversations. The contents of these discussions will build on the National Archives holdings, connecting key fundamental documents to the challenges before us. But our larger goal is more ambitious, to advance discussion of these critical issues in communities across the nation and to bring to the forefront challenges to rights and justice that persist 225 years after the ratification of the Bill of Rights. Much has been achieved in the last few years in terms of women's equality. We now have the first female candidate to be nominated for president by a major U.S. political party. That is definitely a step in the right direction, but there are more challenges to face. For example, women still make just 78 cents for every dollar earned by men. Black women earn only 64 cents, and Latinas only 54 cents for each dollar earned by white men. The U.S. Department of Justice reports that approximately one in four homeless women in, is homeless because of violence committed against her. Over 1,000 public K-12 schools in the United States have single-sex education programs. Many rely on discredited science and gender stereotypes. Discrimination against pregnant women and new mothers in the workplace has been illegal since 1978, but employers still do it. Of all of the 27.6 million businesses in the United States, only 9.9 .9 million are women-owned. From these statistics alone, it's obvious that there's work to be done to make this a more equal nation. Several National Archives locations across the country, as well as other cultural institutions, will host national conversations over the next year. Our first one concerning civil rights and individual freedom was held at the Jimmy Carter Library in Atlanta in May. Our second one concerning LBGTQ human and civil rights was in Chicago in July. Upcoming national conversations will discuss immigration, barriers, and access in Los Angeles educational access and equity in Dallas, and a culminating event, building a more perfect union in Washington, D.C. in early 2017. So I hope you'll join us for future discussions, either in person or online. In Washington, D.C., we currently feature the Amending America exhibit. Here in New York, we have a gallery related to that exhibit called New York on the Record, Amending America. It highlights a few of the more than 11,000 attempts to amend the Constitution. Many of these attempts are related to the quest for women's rights and gender equality. For example, there's a petition for naturalization of suffrag suffragist Harriet Stanton Blatch, daughter of Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Blatch lost her American citizenship when she married a British citizen as a consequence of the Expatriation Act of 1907. She had to reapply to become an American citizen again. 
That act was repealed in 1922. I want to express our gratitude to the National Archives Foundation, Olivia Bundles, who you've heard from, for supporting this series. And a big thanks go out to our lead sponsors for the Amending America Initiative, AT&T, Ford, Seedlings Foundation, and, and the Carnegie Foundation, as well as our friends at Perkins Coie. Thank you very much for your support. And now we're going to have view an introductory film featuring Congressman John Lewis, narrated by Cokie Roberts, entitled Amending America. <laughs> 